Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss adjectives. So first of all, let's know the meaning. What is adjective and what does adjectives do? This word adjective is too taken from the Latin word adjective. As I said you before the word noun, which is taken from the Latin word, which means nomen. The meaning of nomen is a naming word. So here the same category is follows. So adjective is nothing but this adjective so the meaning of adjective is add something so in grammar first we learn noun because as a first identity in english to replace noun words we use pronoun there now here to describe these both that terms that is noun and pronoun we use adjective to describe noun and pronoun we use adjective words so generally adjectives are called to the words those words which add something to a noun or pronoun as its spelling shows add adjective which means like you have seen in the tv ads when we see a movie in between some ads comes you can call it advertisement in mathematics also we know addition which shows to add something so in the same way language also add how it will add let's see here and what adjectives add so here let's see this first one if my mother asked me to buy some apples from the market and if i would buy 500 kg apples then you can imagine what will happen with me my mother would ask me who told you to bring 500 kg apples you can bring 2 kg or 3 kg who will eat these many apples so here i think you have understood here so here apple which has identity which is a noun but we need some numbers some adjectives we need to show this apples so to show the quantity of apple i need something so the next time my mother told me to buy 2 kg apple so this 2 kg is nothing but it is an adjective then the next time i bought 2 kg apples but all were written when i took that apples to home i was scolded again my mother told me you bought 2 kg but can't you see it it's quality you can bring fresh who will eat these many apples and that too rotten so the next day i bought 2 kg fresh apples so this fresh shows the quality of these apples this is the quantity and this is the quality so here student i wanted to explain you that we know apple is a noun so generally to add extra info in noun and pronoun are called adjectives the words which add meaning to a noun or pronoun are called adjective however it can be quality or quantity 2 kg shows quantity and the terms like red green yellow fresh tasty raw ripen rotten etc shows quality of this apples now let's take one more example here i have my exam so i need a pen so as we all know that the things which can be see with our eyes are come under concrete noun so this pen is a noun here so i went to the shop and asked the shopkeeper to give me pen i just simply said him give me pens so the shopkeepers gave me a pack of pens so here i would have say him that i need two pens or three pens it shows the quantity so here we add something in the noun which is this term numbers which shows the quantity here then the shopkeepers gave two pens but that was red then i said the shopkeeper i don't want red pens i need two blue or black pens this blue and black pens to show the quality we use this word so here to show the quantity we use two three the numbers and the blue black shows their quality these both the words are adjectives here because these quantity and quality adding meaning to this noun whatever adding to noun or pronoun to show this quality and quantity that call adjectives one more example i can say like uh, in my class 100 students are there yesterday 30 were absent so the word student shows noun and 100 shows the quantity but 100 out of 100 all are intelligent sincere hard working so these terms shows their quality 
so these all works are done by the adjectives to show the quantity as well as to show the quality so basically the words which add meaning to a noun and pronoun are called adjectives so here you can see the words that add some meaning to noun and pronoun are called adjectives that can be in term of quantity or quality adjective and there are so many types of adjectives the proper adjective a quantitative adjective distributive adjective and demonstrative adjective interrogative adjectives emphatic adjective proper adjective participial adjective descriptive adjective possessive adjective numeral adjective and also exclamatory adjectives let's see each one in detail so let's see first of all the proper adjective proper adjectives are derived from proper nouns proper nouns are the words which shows a particular name of a person place or thing so these adjectives do derive from the proper nouns so here what does these proper adjectives do they commonly describe something in terms of nationality religion affiliation or culture like proper noun proper adjective to have their first letter capitalized for example you can see here american indian japanese chinese british turkish spanish australian christian islamic hinduism and asian these proper adjective shows nationality religious affiliation and culture now let us see these proper adjectives in examples let us see the examples of this proper adjective here the first one is the, the german chocolates so here the students as we all know that the things which we can taste or see that come under concrete noun so it is a noun to shows is quite quality we use the word german which is a adjective here the german chocolate to shows the quality of this chocolate we use the word german as we all know that couple which is a name of a person so that come under to this person we can see our with our eyes so that that can be a noun but when we write the kapil sharma show the kapil sharma show this show is also a noun so here we are describing the show we want to describe the quality of the show so this show is a noun here and this the kapil sharma which was a noun before it will become adjective now and this adjective shows the quality of this show in the same way this german was a noun before but when we use along with the noun it will become adjective and we it will qualify the chocolates qualify the noun now let's see the next one she is a french lady lady is a common noun here and this french is a adjective and it's showing the quality of the lady she belongs to the french i am an indian citizen this india which is which was a noun before but indian is a adjective here and this citizen is a noun it is a common noun so this indian citizen shows the quality of the citizen that belongs to india i love chinese food the chinese again this adjective and this food is a common noun africans which adjective here and this black which is a noun to shows the quality of this black we use the word africans victorian drama drama is a noun and this victorian is adjective here so now let's see the next one the second type of adjective is descriptive or qualitative adjectives so what does this do this an adjective of quality describe the quality of a person or thing so here you could say beautiful lovely good or you can say something is blue a round black or circle semicircle square the term use you use to describe something to shows the quality of something so that word come under this descriptive or qualitative adjectives so here the term you can use like poor weak weak honest handsome red green blue black and so on so when you describe a quality you talk about their description it is a square circle rectangle or something else so here i describe the quality like she is a beautiful girl 
he is an honest person so here honest is adjective and the person is noun he is a poor man the man is a noun and the poor is adjective here similarly someone can be weak handsome or things can be red blue or so on so he here the above words shows the quality beautiful girl honest person some people many people which shows the non quality here so now let us see the examples of this descriptive or qualitative adjectives so the first sentence is i read an interesting book so as you all know that book which is a noun to describe book we use interesting the term interesting which is adjective here to describe book we are using adjectives and adjectives are the word which describe the quantity or quality of noun and pronoun he is a clever so this a clever which is also adjective here so he the term we have used so this clever adjective which describe the pronoun quality she is a beautiful girl again girl is a noun and to describe how is she is the beautiful term we have used to describe her quality so this is the beautiful girl it is sweet it again it is a pronoun and to shows the quality and quantity of pronoun we use the adjective so adjective is sweet here and it's showing that something is sweet so it shows the quality of this pronoun the bangles are lovely so the bangles the bangles are noun here and this lovely we shows is quality which is adjective here this bag is colorful again here students this bag which is a noun here and this colorful which is adjective which shows the quality of the bag how it is now let us see the next one which is a quantitative type of adjective here this adjective of quantitative specifies the quantity of a thing like for example we can say little much any enough no whole some all these all term shows the quantity of a thing as i gave you earlier example two apples or three apples similarly or two pens also i have told you which shows the quantity so have you noticed here 99% of the number in math are always come along with the nouns like i have four books do you have 4000 rupees i need 500 so here as we know 4000 is a mathematical term but it is used with the rupee which is a noun rupee is a noun here so this rupee which is a noun here and to show the quantity of the rupee we use the term 4 which is a quantitative adjective so the words which are used to give meaning to a noun are called adjectives all numbers of mathematics like 2 5 10 and so on behave as an english adjectives or you can call it as determiners or to show its the quantity so now students let's see the examples of this quantitative adjective the first one is she was brilliant enough to pass her exam so this enough is shows the quantity how much she is brilliant the next one is there is no water in the bottle this nose also shows the quantity that nothing is there in the water sorry nothing is there in the bottle no water in the bottle so next one is i ate some roasted chicken so here this some also showing the quantity that something she learned whole chapter this whole is also showing this chapter is a noun and this whole is showing the quantity of the noun how much she has done this is the adjective here this all underline words are adjectives here roasted chicken is a noun here water is a noun here and this exam is also what noun here i drank half of my milk this half is also adjective which shows the quantity of the milk many people come to visit their fair so the people is a noun and to shows the quantity of the people he use the word many which is adjective here 
Now, student, let us see the fourth type of adjective, which is possessive adjective. This we have already learned in pronoun chapter, possessive pronoun as well as possessive adjective. So, these possessive adjective shows possession or belongings, the ownership of a person. So, here in the possessive adjective, first per the first person we use my and our. Second person for with singular we use this one. With singular we use my. And with plural, we use our. And second person, we use your. With third plural, also we use your. And with the third person, we can use his, her, and its. His book, her bag, its hair. And with the plural term, we use their. Now, let us see the some examples of this possessive adjective. My car is at service station. So, here is student, this my which is adjective here, which shows the belonging of the car. This car belongs to his, my. So, this is the adjective my car. This car is a noun. To describe the noun whose car is it, these adjectives has done. This is a possession. Our college. This our it is adjective here and this college is a noun. Your dress. Your again which is adjective and dress is a noun here. She is wearing your earrings. This your again which is adjective and this earring is a noun. Her house is near the park. Her is an adjective here and house which is a noun. The next one is his book is on the table. This his is which is an adjective here which is a possessive adjective and book is a noun. So these all the term which are adjective here like my, our, your, her and his. These all are possessive adjective which shows the ownership of the noun. Its hair is soft. So this hair is a noun here and it is a possessive adjective. And here students remember one thing, possessive adjective and possessive pronoun, there is a slightly difference in it. With the possessive pronouns, we use add, we add her, s here, hers. Hers house we cannot use because after pronoun we can't use noun again because now pronoun takes noun place. His book we cannot say, this book is his. In that way we can say, so these are the possessive adjective. And with the college also we can say our college is close but if we want to use the pronoun instead of this possessive adjective we want to use possessive pronoun we can say this college is ours. This can be come here by adding s to it. Now let us see the fifth one type of adjective which is distributive adjective. So distributive everyone are familiar with the word distribute which means to give something to someone. So here this adjective used to refer to each and every person or thing separately. For example each, every, either, neither, any or both or so on. So let's see some example of this uh, distributive adjectives. I love any dish made by my mother. So here this any which is adjective here and this dish which is a noun. To describe this dish, any dish, that dish, this is used by the term distributive adjective. So here we are distributing the things separately by using this term distributive adjective. Each phone has been sold. So this each which is a phone. To describe the quantity of the phone each, the term we are using, which is distributive adjective here. Either girl can win the race. Either girl, this girl is a noun here. Again, the term either, which is a distributive adjective here. So, basically the word which comes before the noun and it qualify, quantify the noun that come under adjectives. I write in my diary every day. So this every is also an no adjective here. And this day which is a noun. Neither girl can win the race. This either girl, neither girl, girl is a noun. And this before noun adjectives. Both the girls. Again this both is adjective and this girls is a noun here. Now students let us see the next type demonstrative adjective. A demonstrative adjective is used to point out some person or things. The term we use with that these, 
दिस पर्सन दिस कैट और दैट बुक दीज बुक्स दोज बुक एंड सच बुक्स लाइक दैट लेट एस सी सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव एडजेक्टिव दिस इज माइन दिस पेन इज माइन दिस इज अ डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव एडजेक्टिव नॉ स्टूडेंट्स हियर वन थिंग यू हैव टू नोट यू शुड नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव एडजेक्टिव एंड डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन देर ऑल्सो देर हैव द सेम वर्ड्स लाइक दीज दैट दीज दो सच एंड इन डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव एडजेक्टिव ऑल्सो वी टू हैव द सेम वर्ड लाइक दिस दीज दैट दोज but there is a slight difference in this when this demonstrative word this is come then after this word the verb will come it's called pronoun but after this this noun plus verb is come that's come under demonstrative adjective if this will come that become demonstrative pronoun and if the structure is this one then it call demonstrative adjective for example here this is a demonstrative adjective example because this is there after this here you can see this noun is there pen which is a pen here then verb which is is and then this is called adjective this pen is mine but how can we say in demonstrative pronoun the same sentence we can say this is my pen so have you understood the difference between this is this pen is mine and this is my pen here this is my pen and this pen is mine though with these two sentences give the same meaning but if this after this this if noun then afterward this noun verb is there then that come under demonstrative adjective and after this this if a verb is follows that come under demonstrative pronoun So now let us see the next example. These cars are not parked properly. So here, students, you can notice this is a demonstrative adjective. After this, these noun is there, which is this structure is following here, and are is there, which is a verb here. So this is demonstrative adjective. Such players, players again is a noun, and after adjective, nouns are here. Always play. this players always play which is a verb here so here demonstrative adjective used to point out the some persons or things now let us see the next uh, type of adjective which is numeral adjective so here this numeral adjective can be divided into three categories that are definite numeral adjective distributive adjective this we have already discussed in the second type and indefinite numeral adjective in the definite numeral adjective there are three numbers cardinal numbers cardinal numeral adjectives ordinal numeral adjectives and multiplication numeral adjectives so here in the cardinal numeral adjective we have a one Two and three. These numbers we can use to describe the noun, to describe the quantity of a noun. And this ordinal numeral adjective we could say first, second, and third. And in multiplication numeral adjective we could say single, double, and triple. This distributive adjective already we have seen in the second type. and in indefinite numeral adjective these are not defined definite so we use the word like few to these term we cannot define it that's why we are using this indefinite words all no several some and many because these things are uncountable so indefinite numerals are taken with the uncountable nouns and this definite numeral can be used with the countable nouns Now let us see the examples of these. So here, definite numeral adjective is defined. Definite numeral adjective are the set of cardinal and ordinal numbers. The word definite itself tells us that these adjective tells us the exact number of the people or thing because they can be countable. So they say the exact number of the people or things. Students, let us see some examples of these ordinal numbers. which is a numeral adjective 
definite numeral adjective definite means means which say the exact number of a person or thing so there are eight apples in the basket this eight which shows the exact number of apples which are in the baskets so this is a noun and this eight is a definite numeral adjective which shows the quantity of the apple exact quantity the third girl in the row is my friend this girl is a noun and this third is a definite numeral adjective which is a ordinal number he got the first position again first is the ordinal number and this position is a noun fifth bench is empty the fifth bench is empty this bench is a noun and this fifth number which quantifying the bench is called the adjective ordinal adjective now let us see the cardinal numbers examples he gave he gave him two pens or he gave her two pens so this two which is a cardinal number like one two three and first second third which shows ordinal number one two three these terms shows cardinal numbers i have two new dresses this is a noun and this is the adjective I saw three peacock. One, two, three. These are cardinal numbers of definite because it says the exact number of the noun. Peacock is a noun. I saw three peacocks in the zoo. This is an adjective, which is a numeral adjective, and this is a noun. He saw only one cat. One, which is adjective here, and cat is a noun. Now here. example of multiplication number which come which also come under definite numeral adjective he received double wages for all his extra work single double we have seen here no here multiplication single double triple and in ordinal first second and third is there and in cardinal 1 2 and 3 are there So here in the multiplication we have the single and double like that term which are come under multiplication number. Here also it say the exact number. So this a definite numeral adjective. He re he received double wages for all his extra work. She doesn't waste a single minute of her time. So in exam if you see these type of words, so you have to mark it as a adjective. because this minute is a noun and before noun adjectives comes and this is wages is also a noun which means salary and this a double which is a multiplication number so in exam you no need to write this all detail multiplication number out simply you have to put adjective here now students let us see this one indefinite numeral adjectives so here this indefinite numeral adjective these adjectives unlike the definite numeral adjectives it only give the tentative numeral idea of the nouns they do not give us exact number of a noun the term the, we can use with this like few all little some much many and so on so these numeral indefinite numeral adjective they do not give us exact number of a noun like examples you can see here he has sold all the books so here here we don't know the exact number so the term all it use here which is acting as a indefinite numeral adjective to this books to shows the quantity of the book several people got into the train this people which is a noun here and to show the quantity of the noun we use the several word several people which is adjective here which is a numeral adjective indefinite numeral adjective because here we don't know the exact number of the people that's why the term several we have used here it is a uncountable noun there are few bottles of water in the refrigerator here the bottles are countable but here the exact number is not saying that's why the word few is written here bottle is a noun and to describe how many bottles were there they use the term few which is adjective here i don't have much money here again money which is a noun here and this much shows the quantity of money exact number is not showing so when we don't show the exact number at that time we have to use indefinite numeral adjectives this is adjective here so students 
this is all about the types of adjective till seven type of adjective we have learned today i hope it would be helpful for you in the next video we'll see the further types of adjective which are emphatic adjective participle adjectives and interrogative and exclamatory adjectives so stay tuned for the next videos and thanks for watching